10 Movies Every Poker Player Should Watch Before we begin this video, I would like to invite you to our site, CasinoGlow.com, and especially to our new page dedicated to the newest and hottest casino games today and why you should play them. See the links to those pages in the description section below this video. On our site, we offer you amazing bonuses and promotions waiting just for you. From no deposit bonuses to free cash, welcome bonuses, and much more. If you enjoy our video, please like it and subscribe to support our channel, we truly appreciate it, and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos to the channel. Enjoy the video! Besides being a thrilling game, poker has always offered plenty of material for great stories as well as movie scripts. And so, we've decided it's time we share with you what we think are the top poker movies you should watch. In this video, we share with you 10 movies about poker. Some you've probably seen hundreds of times, like myself, but others may not be familiar to you, so it's a great opportunity to enrich your knowledge. We share both fictional movies as well as interesting documentaries, so let's begin and enjoy. Number 10. The Card Counter. Written and directed by Paul Schrader, with executive producer Martin Scorsese, The Card Counter follows a professional card counter and poker player. The movie stars Oscar Isaac, Tiffany Haddish, Ty Sheridan, and Willem Dafoe, and received decent reviews. The movie follow is William Tell, a special ops soldier who spent time in prison for crimes while serving in Iraq, as he travels from casino to casino playing cards at out-of-the-way properties. His transgressions haunt him as he seeks some solace. In the movie, poker and gambling become routine for Tell, as a way to pass the time and punish himself. The movie offers a primarily realistic look at the world of poker at the mid-major level and even received permission to use the WSOP circuit brand. It uses the world of poker to tackle some complex issues, and some critics gave the movie a strong reception. Number 9. Mississippi Grind. Written and directed by Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleck, the movie stars Ryan Reynolds, Ben Mendelsohn, Sienna Miller, Leo Tipton, Robin Weigert, and Alfre Woodard. Down on their luck, two gamblers and poker players decide to hit the road and hope to turn their fortunes around. More gambling ensues as well as interactions with loan sharks, hustlers, criminals, and more in their pursuit of a big score. Despite poor box office receipts, this small budget received kind reviews and is entertaining. Number 8. California Split. Written by Joseph Walsh and directed by Robert Altman, this comedy-drama film follows a casual gambler who befriends a professional one, as he begins to mirror his life, sending both deeper into the sleazy gambling world where the stakes keep getting bigger. The two gamblers are played by Elliot Gould and George Siegel, with New York's Vulture.com praising the movie, claiming it's the greatest film about gambling ever made. The two embark on a series of gambling and drinking adventures. Big wins, losses, bookies, and even a game with poker legend Amarillo Slim. Gould later admitted that his character mirrored his own life and his love of gambling. Number 7. Kid Poker. A 2016 documentary that brings you Daniel Negrano's complete backstory as one of the best, successful and most popular players in poker. This documentary tracks Negrano's roots from playing crazy games with friends in Toronto to his first forays onto the tournament scene in Las Vegas. The film also shows his family's route to and living in Canada. It's an alternative look at a modern player, the highs of winning the ultimate poker prizes and the lows of busting out in those early years. A great documentary whether you like Negrano or not. Number 6. All In, The Poker Movie. Director Doug Tirola did a fantastic job capturing the essence of modern poker. That includes plenty of poker history and amplifying the game's surge after Chris Moneymaker's historic win at the 2003 WSOP main event. The movie incorporates interviews with some of the biggest names in poker, including Phil Hellmuth, Daniel Negrano, Antonio Esfandiari, and other notorious players. The movie brings you a brilliant look at the modern history of the fascinating game of poker. Number 5. Maverick. This 1994 American Western comedy was written by William Goldman and directed by Richard Donner. The movie stars Mel Gibson, Jodie Foster, and James Garner, and is based on the 1957-1962 television series of the same name. Mel Gibson is Brett Maverick, a card player and con artist who collects money in order to enter a high-stakes poker game. 
He is joined in his adventure by Annabelle Bransford and played by Jodie Foster, another con artist, and Marshall Zane Cooper, played by Garner, who's a lawman. The supporting cast features Graham Greene, James Coburn, Alfred Molina and many cameo appearances by Western film actors, country music stars and other actors. The movie received favorable reviews and offered a humorous take on the life of an old West card sharp and con artist. Number 4. High Roller, The Styunger Story. Stu Ungar was a poker superstar way before the poker boom or when poker was less popular than today. Michael Imperioli does a perfect job of capturing Unger's life, five-time WSOP winner. Stu Unger was a sharp and aggressive poker player, which made him as good as it gets. He showed his brilliance by winning five WSOP events, however, drugs and financial strain took their toll. Less than a year later, Unger was found dead in a cheap hotel in Las Vegas. The cause was a heart condition attributed to drug use. The movie shows his life from growing up in New York as the son of a bookie to big wins in Las Vegas and later to events that led to his sad demise. Number 3. The Cincinnati Kid. Written by Ring Lardner Jr. and Terry Southern, and directed by Norman Jewison, the script to the movie was adapted from Richard Jessup's novel of the same name. The movie that stars Steve McQueen, tells the story of Eric the Kid Stoner, a young Depression-era poker player, as he seeks to establish his reputation as the best. This quest leads him to challenge Lancey the Man Howard, an older player widely considered to be the best, culminating in a climactic final poker hand between the two. In the movie, Five Card Stud is the poker game that is featured with Stoner involved in several big games. And Margaret who also plays in the film is the femme fatale, and the action culminates in a massive hand against the older and wiser Lancey the Man Howard. The film received favorable reviews from viewers and mixed reviews from critics, but some poker players might scoff at the realism of certain hands being dealt and whether they would occur in a real-life game. Number 2. Molly's Game. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this great movie. Maybe less poker action, but brilliantly written, interesting characters, and a good story makes this one of the best movies to date about poker. Written and directed by Aaron Sorkin, this movie is based on a true story, the 2014 memoir of the same name by Molly Bloom. The movie stars Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba, Kevin Costner, Michael Sarah, Jeremy Strong, Chris O'Dowd, and others. The movie follows Molly Bloom, who becomes the target of an FBI investigation after the underground poker empire she runs for Hollywood celebrities, athletes, business tycoons, and the Russian mob is exposed. The movie received positive reviews, with particular praise for Sorkin's screenplay, as well as Chastain and Elba's performances. Molly's Game earned Chastain a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress, while Sorkin earned nominations for his screenplay at the Academy Awards, Golden Globes, Writers Guild of America Awards, and BAFTA Awards. Number 1. Rounders. I guess you've probably guessed that this is the number one poker movie that was ever made, even to this day. Without a doubt, the best one on the list and I'm not sure there will ever be a better poker movie, as this one is a pure classic. Written by David Levine and Brian Koppelman, directed by Jean Dolan starring Matt Damon, Edward Norton, John Malkovich, Gretchen Mole, and John Turturro, the movie tells the story of two friends who need to win at high-stakes poker to quickly pay off a large debt. The term rounder refers to a person traveling around from city to city seeking high-stakes card games. Rounders opened to mixed reviews and was moderately successful at the box office. Following the poker boom in the early 2000s, the film became a cult hit and a classic for every person who loves the game of poker. Even the great Johnny Chan is briefly featured in the movie. That is all for now, but let us know in the comments below what is your favorite poker movie and why. If you think we've missed other poker movies, let us know too and recommend them to other players and viewers. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please like it and subscribe. Also, reminding you to visit our site to claim great bonuses, take advantage of our promotions and check out the hottest and best casino games today waiting just for you. Enjoy and have an amazing day.